100 NAM members representing thousands, the chosen few, in an experience that they will never forget, coming here side by side with their fellow NAM members, many of them who they would never come across in their daily lives. Our members are absolute rock stars to make sure that every child has access to music education. You've got to be here. So the day of service is a very key day for our efforts this week uh, for the NAM flying. It really begins with the why and what we're doing. I'm just excited that you guys are here for the, for the ukuleles, for the guitars, and of course for the drums. My kids seem to be really excited about string instruments, so that's an added plus. Watching the kids, their eyes open up, uh, seeing them you know, be able to uh, get a chord to sound nice and realize that they're actually making music right there is it, really eye-opening. Uh. Somebody might just start creating a rhythm with whatever they have around, somebody else shows on a melody, You've got some harmony going, and next thing you know, we've, we're just completely connected as if we were in the same culture and we'd known each other our whole lives. And that's what we tend to see, our students who latch on to our music programs, they grow as people, they grow as leaders, and they become extremely creative. What we're doing here at Charles Hart Middle School is doing an inventory assessment of all their musical instruments. So I'm just really glad that you all are able to come here and assess the instruments and those, let us know what we need to do moving forward to get those instruments fixed. And just to show the students that we have support from others, from other organizations outside of the school. Doing the lobbying after, after doing this day of service, it really kind of puts things in context. It allows us to go on the hill and spread that message to our, our members of Congress, and I think that they start to get it. Momentum out of here is just going to take us into training tomorrow with NAM and the great leaders uh, to prepare us for meeting with our legislators on Wednesday to discuss uh, funding for music education. I think the most important thing that we're trying to do is to ensure that the legislation that is coming forward for ESSA right now is funded at the highest level that is expected. You approved this bill, the Every Student Succeeds Act, which includes music education, and now we're asking you to fully fund it. This story was reaching all across the, the country about what we do here in D.C. this week, so when I had the opportunity to come back this year, I, I jumped at the chance. Issues that are really important not only to our business, but that are then important to our customers and important to students of, at, all across the country. Because I, I knew that when we passed the, uh, the SSA in 2015, knowing that I had something to do with that process, 20, 30, 40 years from now, there was going to be a kid in PS 138 in the Bronx saying, somebody thought that it was important for me. That's the reason why we're here. This is just a great thing. It's one of the best things I've ever happened. <laughs>